All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the uh, Freedom office and uh, we're getting set up to go down to South Carolina for a charity event. It's going to be a lot of fun. But in doing so, we're, we're kind of preparing for the Pistol Caliber Carbine uh, Nationals down there at Talladega. Now, this is the new holster setup. Check that bad boy out. I can't even remember who this is. I think it's uh, those guys up there, Red Hill Tactical, on a Ben Stoger drop hanger. And then we got a couple of these really cool long extensions because, yes, we are shooting open class. All right, what are we doing? We're talking about this video here. I guess Massachusetts is sending 400 troops, National Guardsmen, down to D.C. for another six-month tour. Or at least a, a couple months tour. Why do you suppose they're doing that? When the head of the National Guard, I guess who covers the entire country, has said, you know what, we, we really need to get our guys out of there. And then uh, I guess uh, Austin Lloyd or Lloyd Austin. Now, I'm not gonna say anything bad about him. I'm gonna reserve any ill will towards that gentleman because he is a uh, fellow uh, paratrooper uh, <laughs> and he was an 82nd Airborne Division, three-star general, academy graduate. But that doesn't mean anything when you've got a jackass uh, running the show or telling you what to do. Because ultimately at the end of the day, if you're in the military, the commander in chief uh, is the boss, unless he gives out an unlawful order, and you know it, and you cannot enforce an unlawful order as an officer. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, but what's intriguing to me is that we are sitting here looking at what appears to be damn communist Washington, D.C. I'm not communist China, not Red Square, not, not Moscow. But good old D.C., downtown D.C., fenced in with concertina wire and armed guards. Who thought it would ever come to this? And I'll tell you the reason why it's come to this. Because these individuals who were up there in the Capitol building, as well as the White House, are terrified that they are getting ready to get their asses handed to them. And you want to know the reason why? It's because we have never seen, to this day, the most unruly left-leaning bills being introduced. We've got HR1, which I believe somebody told me was going to allow a 16-year-old kid to vote. Who the hell thought of that one? Great. Oh, you know, and I guess voter ID is called voter suppression, or it's all racist. Uh, you know, and then you've got HR127, we've got HR8, we've got HR1446, which are probably going to go to the Senate this to either today, maybe tomorrow. Ah, uh, and then you got old, what's her name? Diane Feinstein's little old assault weapons ban. Yeah, uh, thanks very much for one of the guys who actually sent me a copy of that thing today. It's the same thing. It's every year. It is the exact same thing. That lady uh, is, is beyond senile. And she has enough co-backers on this thing that they're going to try to take the most popular firearm in the country and ban the sale, transfer, and manufacture of this thing, as well as standard capacity magazines. Now, what are your thoughts on that? I do know what my thoughts are on it. Yeah, no. No, and I ain't going on boating accidents. It's just going to say, Molon Love, come and get it. Come and get it. Because at that point, that's where we're going to be. Now, I know a lot of my good friends are law enforcement officers, and they said, nope, we're not participating in any kind of bullshit like that. We value our lives. And sure as shit, they should. Because that's what's going to happen, is when people start outlawing and banning certain firearms, especially something as popular as the AR-15, well, there's a lot of emotion, there's a lot of feelings. If you think Cardi B rolling around on the ground up there, bumping d uglies with some other chick talking about this and that, while Dr. Seuss is getting banned... This is what's wrong with our country. It all started back in the 90s, guys, when the 90s music, when all you heard was a bunch of whiners from, I don't know, Seattle. Hey, she don't love me no more. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm not joking about that either, man. That's when it all started. The pussification of these United States. And it grew into their children and that their feelings. And then all of a sudden, you've got a six-year-old who can make a decision whether or not he wants to have an operation to make himself a girl or a boy. Our country is going to hell in a handbasket when the president signs a freaking law into place letting men participate in women's sports because that's how they feel that day. What's wrong with that? Who? How good was the salesperson who sat there and told him that this was a good bill to sign? 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm all about equal rights. I could care less if you're black, grind, brown, green, purple, or yellow. I don't give a shit. Work hard. Earn your keep. You know what? Not everybody needs a damn college degree to make a good living. And you were convinced at one point in time that everybody needed to have a college degree so they gave out these loans like candy. And now all of a sudden, the guy that was taking underwater basket weaving and had a $120,000 education can't afford to pay it back with his $25,000 a year job. This is the shit that bothers me, ladies and gentlemen, is our country is run by a bunch of doofuses like that. And when, you know what? There's enough of us that we can vote to take away the money of the individuals that we think are making more than they need. That shit's disgusting in my book, and it's called Let's Go that. Back to D.C. with its fence and its concertina wire. And let's not, be, let's not kid ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. These aren't illegal aliens. These are future Democratic voters. Buying votes is what the Democrats are all about. And unfortunately, if we don't put our foot down and do it the right way, our country will be lost. And that's just what I'm having to say right now, guys, because I'm pissed. This is the shit that wears on me 24-7. Sitting here doing videos about the Second Amendment and everything else. Trying to give you guys an educational video on what the inside of a barrel looks like. But in reality... My heart is hurting right now for our country. And you guys that say, What's, when are you going to stand up and start doing something about it? The time is about now. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not something I want to get to. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to wait till they're shooting people in the streets or they're hauling people off the detention centers. Are we going to wait to that point? I don't know. You let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm not trying to raise an insurrection. And speaking of insurrections, you know, they only, find, they only found one firearm that didn't belong to one of the Capitol Police. And the one guy that did draw his firearm killed and murdered a young lady, Ashley Babbitt. It wasn't a setup. It wasn't fake. That guy, that dumbass, didn't even announce it or <laughs> created a warning, a verbal warning. He had a negligent discharge, and he popped one in her ass, and she died. And this is the shit that's wrong with this country. As the Democrats sit there and, again, in their Seattle wine, uh, the armed insurrection, when you got assholes raiding federal buildings all over the country and burning shit to the ground, yet nothing's wrong with that. The shit's out of hand, ladies and gentlemen. Just giving you a couple of my thoughts of what's going through my mind as I wake up in the morning in turmoil wondering where my kids are going to be and how they're going to be raised in the future. Well, I will tell you this right now. I'm raising them not to be a bunch of pansies and not a bunch of whiners from Seattle. Not that Seattle's a bad thing, you guys. If you guys are from Seattle, you know what I'm talking about. And this is not directed to you. So with that being said, we always end them like this. <laughs> God bless America. God bless the men and women in uniform who are forced by these assholes in D.C. to sit there behind a fence and look at their neighbors, their brothers, their fellow citizens on the other side of the fence with the concertina wire across the top. This is communist China. This is communist Soviet Union. And we're heading there and people don't, these assholes in D.C., they are there because they are afraid that we, the people, are going to react to the bullshit bills, the incredible tax hikes that are getting ready to happen. Our economy is going to be destroyed in a matter of 90 days, ladies and gentlemen. You watch this. You mark my words. I will tell you this. Big Daddy Unlimited has got the uh, the rare breed triggers. Oh, yeah. Got, got maybe one or two of them. I don't know. There is a fix to them, so I'm not really worried about it. And it will work in my Banshee 45 ACP. And that's going to be some sick shit. Let's go to boy 32. Always end them like this. Uh, yeah, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform who will support our Constitution that was written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. And that's it. America, where are we right now? Ask yourself when you wake up. And there are armed guards surrounding D.C., America's house, keeping us separate from them. I'm KB32. Y'all be good.
Peace.